Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Back with some more first playthrough. It's been a while since I've played this. This is none other than Sword and Fairy Together Forever. A visually stunning looking game. A lot of RPG elements. I have, I believe, like two episodes already up on the channel for this from when it first came to Game Pass Ultimate and Game Pass PC. I don't have a playlist, but after I get this video out, I will have one set up so that if you want to know what's going on in the story, you can check out the first two episodes. It's funny because before this game actually even came to Game Pass PC and Ultimate, I was actually tempted to purchase this game. It, they had a sale for it. It was actually really affordable. I just opted in to not purchase it, which after playing it on Game Pass PC and like, I, I ain't even gonna lie, when I saw the trailer for it, before it even hit Game Pass PC and Ultimate, I was tempted to purchase it based off of the visuals alone. It's a decent looking game, especially if you're into these RPG type of games, these RPG hey. elemental games. You know, the narrative seems to still be Xbox has no games. See a lot of people saying that lately, especially on social media. And you already know that, that really comes from the Sony community. Ponies. You know, as what everybody calls them. You know, the ponies claim that Xbox have no games. And that just couldn't even be any more further than the truth, especially ever since, like, the start of the Series X, like, my problem is, and I say it all the time, it be literally in the back of my mind, which is, I have too many games. Like between the games that I actually own. And then when you pair that with the games that's available to me on Game Pass Ultimate, I just have too many games. A lot of the buzz lately in the news rise, especially surrounding Xbox was about Toys for Bob hitting the independent scene, becoming, signing a deal with Microsoft to become like an indie studio. And I see nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all.
，他家就在小吃摊附近。他爹姓李，他娘姓顾，应该很好认的。Especially when they still have a contract that they're linked to Microsoft, where they will be bringing whatever games that they decide to develop as an indie studio to Xbox. So I don't see how it's a loss. But what the big deal is, and what's all the fuss and craze about? When Xbox basically, the way you know, a lot of people and another, you know, more popular YouTuber that I watch broke it down, which is they did them a favor by signing a deal allowing them to become indie. They allowed them to become an indie studio, and like I said, they're still going to be doing business with Microsoft slash Xbox, so it's not a loss. Grandpa, what are you doing? My son, hold on. I'm holding on. Hey, my foot! You haven't been able to move again. 韩大夫吩咐：“您这阵子要少走动，多休息，何况是搬这么沉的坛子。”哎，我想着这小坛子能有多沉啊！哎，哎，还是大意了，不服老不行了。孙女儿，你们一路上没有遇到凶兽吧？我有巧灵。凶手追不上的。不过，村子附近原本温和的精怪，似乎突然魔化，变得暴虐了许多，见人就攻击。天师门的那群黄皮子是干什么吃的？他们不是向来以村子的保护神自居吗？竟然吹牛皮！哼！爷爷，话也不能这么说。要不是有天师门部的防护法阵，这一带的村子……早就也被凶兽毁了。再说了，其他门派的防护法阵，听说也是天师门传授，所以他们才成为仙盟盟主。人家是有大功劳的。嗯，孙女儿，你怎么尽帮黄皮子们说话呀？你忘了，他们跟我们明术门水火不容啊！哎呀，爷爷，是我错了。不过，防护法阵运转正常，燕归谷中的草木精怪却发生变异，总之不太寻常。哎，要是早个百八十年，我们明术门还风光的时候，早就把这些凶兽啊、妖怪什么的都赶走了，哪儿轮得到黄皮子们出风头啊？如今呀、啊，这么多年。一个弟子也找不到啊！您别叹气，我相信明术门将来会有重现辉煌的那一天。嗯，还是我乖孙女会说话。对了，爷爷，我在回来路上捡到了这个。灵气逼人啊！这是什么宝物啊？爷爷也不知道这是什么吗？没见过，但看这样子，肯定是比灵果还要强千百倍的好东西。巧灵啊，哎，来尝尝，说不定啊，这个吃下去，你就能立刻飞升呢。哎。乔灵啊，蕴含如此澎湃灵力的果实，世间罕见。你不吃，可
的就太可惜喽。我看还是罢了。巧灵是天生食之灵果的仙灵兽，能不能吃，她应该比我们更清楚。明树门就剩下这一只玉灵，万一吃坏了怎么办？哎，好吧。既然这果子不能吃，那我还是去玉灵园摘些灵果喂了巧灵。好，好，好，去吧。<笑>因为在上面。Which you know, if it's a good game, obviously it deserves the praise. But it's not an exclusive. It's just a three-month release window exclusive for PlayStation. They'll have it three months early, and it's supposed to be arriving on Xbox sometime in May, the end of May, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's the end of May, so three months from now. I'll be able to play it on my Xbox. It's funny because they just had a demo for I forgot what Final Fantasy, but they had the beta literally available to be played on the Xbox. I just chose not to play it. And if I'm not mistaken, by the time that Final Fantasy actually releases on the Xbox, we should already be having Hellblade 2. I think Hellblade 2 comes out next month. Or this month, or actually in May. So it's like, you know, I'm gonna be honestly, I'm gonna be putting a lot of my time into Hellblade too, even though I didn't finish one. But I, I figure, I'll go hard and try to finish out part two, and then I'll backtrack and then I'll finish part one. I know that makes no sense, but that's just what what I'm going to do. Hello, 今日就没什么事要做了。重现辉煌，不，不能妄自菲薄。做好该做之事，门派必有转机。小事而已，我去处理。嗯、你等严守门派法阵，务必要保护神子安全。是
。大概天师门已经发现有凶兽和妖怪在附近出没，所以加固法阵。嗯，这法阵似乎和以往的不同。What in the hell is going on up in the sky? Looking like some shit straight out of Project Sun. Yeah, 他家就在小吃摊附近。你怎么整天不务正业？平西村的这门手艺可不能丢。彭大说：“这是……哎呀，哎，真是太感谢你了。”这是跑腿送信。哪有啊？这世道，外面一群凶兽窜来窜去，连修仙的习武的也不敢在
for the next Call of Duty. The next Call of Duty game, the major game that's going to drop, which I believe they're supposed to be doing like a Call of Duty Cold War. That's supposed to be coming out soon. Like, it's crazy because I had bought Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and then it seems like six months later, they came out with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and I was just scratching my head like, we just got Modern Warfare 2, why is there 3? That's just how Call of Duty is. It's like they come out with a new Call of Duty every six months to a year. Like, they don't even let a whole year go through before they drop another Call of Duty. And a lot of Game Pass users and Xbox users will get to play Call of Duty game day in Game Pass. And most likely they'll still turn around and purchase the game. And if not, they're just going to use that money that they was purchasing the game with before it used to come to Game Pass and invest it into the battle passes and buying all the DLCs and all the skins and stuff like that. Weapon packs and so forth and so forth. But either way, if you have a Game Pass subscription, and if, if you have an Xbox or if you don't have an Xbox and you have a Game Pass subscription, you're winning. Like you're winning. If you're gaming on PC and you're subscribed to Game Pass, it's still a win for Xbox slash Microsoft. You're still in the Xbox ecosystem. It's a win. that Digital Foundry was saying that the cloud service for PS Now versus the cloud service for Xbox X Cloud, the quality is better and the latency is better and all this other stuff. But yet, no one seems, it seems like it's crazy, as credible of a source as Digital Foundry is and as highly intelligent as they are, during a breakdowns and reviews of games, and gaming in general, you know, it's funny that they say, you know, that the, the PS Now um, streaming service is so much better. You know, it's a win, it's a plus for Sony versus Xbox, X Cloud, X, you know, X Cloud game streaming service. It seems like they didn't. You know, bother to mention that basically Sony uses Microsoft. Um, they use their like services to like stream for their cloud. Like they're using Microsoft. Like Microsoft is is helping Sony for their cloud services. They're using Microsoft. But yet they praise Sony for having such a good streaming service. They couldn't accomplish that without the help of Microsoft. Microsoft is aiding in their success for cloud gaming because the reality is Microsoft is the best for cloud gaming. So I don't care what Digital Foundry says. Stop being, you know, hypocritical and tell it like it is. Tell the whole story. Don't tell half the story. Tell the whole story. Okay? Okay, did you found me? I got much love and respect for you. But don't tell a half story. A half truth is just that. A half truth. It's, a, it's, it's not really... It's, it's a lie. A half truth is nothing but a lie. <laughs> so don't tell half truths. Tell, tell it like it is. Be real. Be real to the consumer and gamers. We all love gamers. All of us, but be real, PS Now Cloud Gaming wouldn't be as good as it is without the help from Microsoft, and that's just calling a spade a spade, because if it could have been or would be that successful, they wouldn't have asked Microsoft for help.
Till next time, peace and be well, everyone. Noob out.